Hello and welcome to my presentation on running Zeek and Spicy inside a Docker container. My name is Keith Jones. You can reach me at drkeithjones.com. I have all my social media links and everything through there if you're interested in chatting more about this subject. All right, so first, what is Docker? Docker's a system to run lightweight containers. And what it does is it wraps applications in these containers that has the most minimal amount of software in there to uh, run whatever application it is you want to run. So you can think of it as kind of like VMware, but just a lot more lightweight. So if you're going to transfer a VMware image around it, it's going to be gigabytes in size. If you transfer Docker containers around, they're going to hopefully be around hundred me hundreds of megabytes in size. So Docker makes shipping complicated software a lot easier because you can control all the prerequisites inside that container and make it run perfectly for you. Uh, Docker can also run on Windows, Mac, and Linux, but do note, depending on if you're going to run it commercially versus open source um, and personally, individually, you may have to buy a license for, I believe it's Windows and Mac. I think Linux is all open source. But don't quote me on that. Check check the Docker.com website. Now, one of the reasons why I like Docker when I do stuff with Zeek is I can very quickly switch versions of Zeek. So if I'm developing a spicy analyzer and I know it works well in Zeek version 5, I can very quickly pull a Docker container for Zeek version 4 and see if it works just as well as Zeek version 5. All right, so how do you run a Zeek Docker container? It's not super complicated. One of the first things I did was I went to hub.docker.com. And under there, there's a security group. And then under that, there's a repo called Zeek. So it's hub.docker.com slash security slash Zeek. And that's the image for Zeek. So one of the things that I did is I went in there and I clicked on the tag the tags tab you see in almost the middle of your screen. And then I got a listing of all the versions of Docker containers that are up there. So I can see every single uh, version of Zeek containers up there. So I picked the uh, most latest 5.1 version. You can see I put a red box around it. That's the version that I'm going to use in these slides and in the demo for you. Now, running Docker, once you have it installed, is not that complex. So that's the command that I just highlighted across the top there for you. And what that says is run a container. The dash dash rm says when you're done, remove the container. So when you're done, it means kill it and get it out of there. The IT means you're going to have an interactive terminal. And then we're going to run the security slash Zeek, just like we saw in hub.docker.com. And then the colon 513, which is the version we want to run. And then there's a space and we have bash. So what we're saying is Docker run this container, which is a security Zeek version 5.1.3. And run the bash command inside that container. Now, when I run that, you can see the example um, in the screenshot that I have in the middle of your screen there. And if you've never pulled this image before, you're going to see a bunch of status bars and so forth going across your screen because Docker is going to go out, ask for that image. If you don't have it, it's going to pull it down and download it and unzip it and put it in your Docker system and so forth. So do know that when you see my screen here, it is be it's shorter because I've already done this downloading portion. And it happens automatically. You don't have to do anything. So I just show you here that when you run Zeek version, you can see it is 5.1.3. And then I just proved to you that Spicy C and Spicy Z are on there with those versions. And then I also show you that ZKG is on there, which allows us to install packages. And it's on there at 2.13.0. So you can see right there we're root in this container being able to run Zeek and Spicy. So your next question should be, are there any other prerequisites that I have to add to the Docker container? 
And if you're like me and you develop spicy analyzers, the answer is probably. Uh, so here's two command lines I generally run when I do spicy work. And in my demo, I'm gonna show you how to install spicy OpenVPN in a container just to show you how it works and so forth. So to do that, we have to run apt get update to update all the packages that it can pull. And then we have to run apt get install, libpcap dev, cmake, and G++. And another question should be, all right, so we're running a container. Does that mean we have access to all our local file folders? And the answer generally is no, unless you give a command flag, the dash V command line flag, and you s signify some local directory colon some remote directory. So in this case, I'm showing you it's just slash a slash local slash dir. That would be mounted on slash remote underscore dir inside the container. So this is how we can mount like source code directories and so forth inside a container so we can install them. Um, it also is helpful for like your PCAP directories. So you can go in your PCAP directories and then run um, Zeek on those PCAPs. And then you can see with my second bullet here, you can then just change directory into the remote directory and you have all access to your local subdirectory. So at this point, you could even use ZKG create. And I have a video on that, on how to do um, ZKG create to create a spicy analyzer from a template. Uh, but for this demo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you uh, what it takes to install our open source, um, open VPN, um, spicy analyzer. So what I did here, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can use a ZKG and you can actually just pull it from the package repository. And then, you know, it just installs by downloading it over the internet. But what I wanted to do here was show you that we can do it by mounting directories too. So I have the source directory on my hard drive because I develop these repos. Um, so it's just easier for me to mount the directory and just and install it from the directory than it is to pull it and download it from the internet. So what I did is I did a Docker run. The dash V says mount this local directory on that remote directory. So once we get this Docker container running, we should be able to just go to slash open VPN and we'll be in our local directory where the Zeke spicy open VPN exists. And all the same command line stuff. We got the remove, the IT, and we're calling security 513 and we're running bash. So let's go ahead and hit enter. All right, so <clears throat> since we're gonna install our open VPN, um, Spicy Analyzer, let me show you where it's at. There it is. It's just under slash OpenVPN, as I promised. But you remember, we need some prerequisites filled before we can um, go ahead and just start installing pre uh, the Spicy Analyzers. So the first thing we want to do is run apt get update. And that just updates all the repository information uh, that this image can pull. So that's done. So now we want to do an apt get install libpcap dev cmake and g++. So these are the three prerequisites for spicy. So it's going to prompt you, do you want to continue? Yes. And I'm going to let this rip. This is going to take a little bit. I apologize for that. We'll hold on and we'll come back here when we get a prompt back. Okay, we have our prompt back now. So at this point, we should be able to install spicy analyzers. So we're in our open VPN. Let's go ahead and do a ZKG install. I'm gonna skip the test just to save on time right now. Our current directory and I just press enter and if everything goes well
proceed. Yes. So now what it's doing is, is it's compiling the OpenVPN spicy analyzers. And with any luck, it should compile fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the Zeek command and you can see that it's actually installed inside the Zeek, inside the, the Docker container. So we have a total encapsulated environment to do things like spicy analyzer development, or we can run it on PCAPs or whatever you might need Zeek for. Uh, about the only thing I don't use Zeek in this manner through a container is when I'm running it on live network traffic. So when I'm running it like on a, net, on a network card versus a PCAP. In that case, um, I might use a Docker container, but you got to set it up completely differently than I'm teaching you today. Uh, the way I'm teaching you today is more for like software development and putting it in or being able to run uh, PCAPs through any version of Zeek that you install these analyzers, like this OpenVPN analyzer. All right, it's installed. So if we type Zeek dash capital N, capital N, we grep or open VPN. And you can see there are the analyzers. There's all the open VPN analyzers and we can even do a ZKG list. And you can see it's also installed. So there you go. That's how you install Zeek and Spicy in a Docker container and even st install uh, spicy analyzers on top of that. So if you're done with the container, um, remember I had the dash dash RM on there to remove itself when you're done. So if you were just type exit or control D, you go back to your prompt and the, the container basically just disappears. It kills itself and disappears at that point. So with that, if you enjoyed this video or any of my other videos, please click the subscribe button to be alerted anytime I have another video like this. And uh, I hope to see you on our next video. Thanks.